How to do multiple imputation in SPSS? If you're dealing with missing data in your research and want to use multiple imputation in SPSS, you're in the right place. Let's break down the steps to help you handle those missing values effectively. First, you need to navigate to the Analyze menu in SPSS. Here, select Multiple Imputation and then click on Impute Missing Data Values. This will open a window with several tabs, Variables, Method, Constraints, and Output. In the Variables tab, select all the variables that contain missing data. Make sure to exclude any identification variables that you don't want to analyze. For example, if you have a dataset with variables like pain, Tampa scale, and disability, and these variables have missing values, you would select these variables here. Next, move to the Method tab. Here you choose the imputation algorithm. A common method is Fully Conditional Specification, FCS, also known as the Bayesian Regression Imputation Method, or Chained Equations. You can also use Predictive Mean Matching, PMM, for continuous variables, which is often preferred over the default linear regression method in SPSS. In this tab, you can also adjust the number of iterations. The default is 10, but it's recommended to increase this to 50 for better results. After setting up your method, visit the Constraints tab if you need to apply any specific constraints to your data. Once you've configured all the settings, click the OK button to start the imputation process. SPSS will generate multiple imputed datasets, which will be stored in a new SPSS file. These datasets will be stacked on top of each other, and a new variable called imputation will be added to distinguish between the original and imputed datasets. This imputation variable is crucial because it allows you to analyze the data separately for each imputation. You can use this variable similar to the split file option in SPSS, where all analyses are done separately for the categories of the variable used to split the analyses. After the imputation process, you can analyze your data using the imputed values. For example, if you're conducting regression analysis, you would run the analysis on each imputed dataset and then combine the results. This process helps in accounting for the uncertainty introduced by the missing data. To analyze the data, you can split your sample by the imputation variable under the data menu. This way, you can perform your analyses on each imputed dataset separately and then combine the results to get your final estimates. By following these steps, you can effectively use multiple imputation in SPSS to handle missing data and ensure your analyses are robust and reliable.